the scenario of Joint Project Arctic Windmill, Europe's largest air and missile defense exercise, there are tensions in Europe. A few fictitious countries are behaving aggressively towards a neighbor. NATO wants all countries to respect the sovereignty of independent states and the international legal order. Units are ready to respond rapidly if required. In the scenario in which countries send their armies across their neighbor's border, NATO deploys troops to the region. As protection against threats from the air, NATO member countries combine available weapon systems into a layered air defense. Together, the sensors of different systems provide a complete view of the airspace and all movements in the area. Depending on the air threat, the NATO command structure determines which of the available systems can best intercept that threat in a given situation. Because it's not always clear whether an object actually poses a threat, action can sometimes be taken only at the latest possible stage. And also because of scarcity and costs, some systems must be kept in reserve for as long as possible. Stinger systems can provide short-range protection for ground troops and are relatively cheap. A Norwegian advanced surface-to-air missile system can intercept aircraft or cruise missiles at a medium range if it is clear at an early stage that something poses a threat. And Patriot systems and air defense frigates are available for interception at an even earlier stage or at a higher altitude. Such medium to long-range systems can also detect and neutralize ballistic missiles. The American Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System protects against threats that travel through the exoatmosphere, such as intercontinental ballistic missiles. In combination with fighter aircraft, NATO therefore has a layered air defense capability that can counter the most modern threats. Air and missile defense is a scarce resource, but collectively, the Alliance can create safe zones against any threat from the air to protect what we value. During the biennial JPO exercise, different NATO member countries participate with various weapon systems and staffs. Most of the exercise takes place in physical or simulated form at the ground-based Air Defense Command in the Netherlands. But there are also participants who are linked to the JPO network from their home base or area of operations.